Researchers are deploying a four-legged robot dog to European forest, walking it through leaves and uneven terrain to create 3D maps of the area as part of the efforts to make forestry more sustainable. We'll take a look at our next report telling you more about it. This four-legged robot dog is helping researchers create 3D maps of European forests. As it walks through leaves and across uneven ground, it contributes to a mission to make forestry more sustainable, one mechanical step at a time. Researchers at the Oxford Robotics Institute are part of DigiForest. It is a project that uses new technologies to help manage and protect forests. Maurice Fallon, a research lead for the project, says the robot dog can cover large distances as it helps them map a forest. The sensors that we use are laser sensors, the same kind of sensor that's used in self-driving cars. So it measures distance out to uh, each of the trees and from that we can reconstruct basically the, the kind of cylinder shape of the, the trunks and uh, measure their diameters and measure their heights and build up a basically a database of, of, of the contents of the forest. Fallon says the robot dog can also map where forest interventions are needed, such as where certain trees might need to be felled to protect the wider forest from extreme weather events. As, as trees grow, you can get a measure of the, the growth rate, and with the growth rate, you can detect where maybe a, a, a forest is struggling or where there might be trees that are, that are dying. Uh, you can also use this kind of 3D model to uh, project or plan uh, in uh, interventions. So if you were to knock down certain trees to protect the, the rest of the forest from, say, strong wind damage or a forester actually planning which trees they, they want to knock down. The project is funded by the EU's Horizon Europe Research Program, which supports sustainable forestry efforts. This includes backing alternatives to clear felling, where all or most trees in a designated area are cut down at once. Swiss company Anibotics developed a robot called Animal, originally for industrial sites such as factories and energy facilities. Fallon says it has been a challenge to improve the walking capabilities of the dog, especially through a forest environment where it has to deal with unexpected foliage and trip hazards like tree roots. The team also faces another challenge as they pursue hopes of making commercial forestry more sustainable. Really, the challenge is to change the mindset of the of the forestry community to, to adopt this technology. And there's still challenges because um, it's expensive technology going around uh, 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 facilities that are uh, remote in, in many cases. Um, uh, but that, that's, that's the challenge. 